Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Heather Magatu, and I'm the Vice President of Advancement for the University of Saskatchewan, and it's my pleasure to welcome you this morning. Wonderful to have you all here on this lovely spring day. Sooner or later, we are going to have spring, or else we'll just go straight into summer. That works, too. I'd be good with that. So welcome, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our president, Dr. Eileen bush Vishniak, who will uh, talk to us today about um, outreach and engagement. Dr. bush Vishniak became our university's ninth president in July of 2012. She, served her under, she received her undergraduate degrees in physics and mathematics from the University of Rochester and her Master of Science and PhD degrees in mechanical engineering from MIT. In 1981, Dr. bush Vishniak joined the faculty of the University of Texas at Austin as, a, as an assistant professor in the mechanical engineering department. She then joined Johns Hopkins University as the dean of, of the Whiting School of Engineering, where she remained until joining McMaster University in 2007 as provost. As provost at McMaster, she was instrumental in technology systems renewal, the development of a new budget model, improving the student experience, faculty renewal, strategic enrollment planning, advancing the scholarship of teaching and learning on campus, and modeling a highly successful and collaborative university-college partnership. She also worked to enhance diversity initiatives at McMaster, particularly focusing on ties to First Nations communities nearby. President bush Vishniak's research focuses, focuses on aspects of acoustics and on diversity issues as they relate to engineering education. She's best known for her work to control noise in hospitals and for her efforts to revise engineering curricula to suit a more diverse population. She has authored over 60 technical articles, a monograph, and a number of popular papers. She also holds nine US patents on electro electromechanical sensors. She has served as the lead supervisor for 18 PhD students, uh, 34 MS students, and a host of undergraduate students engaged in research projects, and of course has received many, many awards for her work. Please join me in, in welcoming to the podium our president, Dr. Eileen bush -Bishniak. Thank you, everyone, and good morning. I should tell you, um, since arriving in Saskatchewan, I've become quite, the, quite interested in Saskatchewan history. There was a year, I believe in the 1860s, when there was no summer. The snow started to melt, and it got to the point where the ground never was totally free of snow, and it started snowing again. So every time I, I look out, I think, are we really having that again? <laughs> Just my luck, of course. It is my pleasure to be with you today and be, be asked to make a few comments, which I'm delighted to do because I believe so strongly in the importance of community-engaged scholarship. From our origins as the People's University, the University of Saskatchewan has had a rich history of outreach and engagement. Our first president, Walter Murray, regarded these as foundations upon which to build for the university's future and help secure us an honorable place among the best universities in the world. Today, this remains reflected in several significant documents, including outreach and engagement, linking with communities for discovery and learning, and the university's third integrated plan, Promise and Potential. Success on the campus must be shared with those off campus our earliest outreach programs were predicated on that statement. Today, the spirit of outreach has been complemented by a commitment to engagement, where we not only do things for members of society, but with members of society in a way that creates new forms of knowledge. Such partnerships engage students, faculty and staff, alumni, friends, and the broader community and span both research and teaching. To be a strong member of the U15, it is important that we embrace scholarly approaches to both our research and teaching. Community partnering and engagement can never be simply about service, but must be about finding ways to provide service that enrich students' learning experiences and that enables faculty research activities. Indeed, partnering and engagement provide opportunities to be explicit 
about the cross-pollination of research and teaching. Within the body of academic inquiry known as community-engaged scholarship, it is well documented that the partnerships we develop with communities make what we do better and more relevant, and they also benefit the communities with whom we are working. In the past year, our campus was visited by one of North America's leading community-engaged scholars, Barbara Holland. She made this point clearly to us, and she affirmed for us that through the newly coordinated work of our faculty, with the assistance of our special advisor on outreach and engagement, the university is well poised to become a leader in the field of community-engaged scholarship. From experiential learning to community-based research, there are many ways we are engaged with communities. Our faculty and students work with many different groups. We know that Saskatchewan is part of a global community. Global issues occupy our teaching and our research, but we can best enable learning and discovery and have impact through engaging locally. We need to move forward in both realms, the local and the global, as we move to realize our vision of being an eminent research-intensive university in North America. Since starting at the U of S, and it's now been almost 10 years, uh, 10 years, oh good, <laughs> 10 months, 10 months. Every day feels a little longer. <laughs> I've been saying that my first job is to listen. I've heard from faculty and communities how important both outreach programs and community engagement are to them in terms of helping provide answers to pressing social, economic, and political problems. I've asked them, and I continue to ask this question, in what areas are we strong? Where could we and should we be stronger? Where should we focus our attention and efforts in the future? And it's clear there's a large appetite on this campus and in our community for greater partnership with the communities of Saskatchewan. Our efforts in partnering and, in, and engagement will help us to achieve the goals that are laid out in our third integrated plan, promise and potential. We've heard industry say they want universities to meaningfully contribute to their goals. We've heard Aboriginal, federal, provincial and local governments say they want universities to contribute meaningfully to their goals. And we've heard not-for-profit groups, advocacy groups, and some of the most marginalized voices in society say as well that they want universities to contribute meaningfully to their goals. Partnering and engagement provide one important means of responding to these calls and answering them in a, matter, in a manner that is academically rigorous. Each connection we make, whether through the new Station 20 West office through the Office of First Nations and Métis Engagement, or through the efforts of colleges, schools, departments, and individual faculty members, each one of these efforts brings us closer to achieving our goals. As I have come to know the province in my very long 10 months that feel like 10 years some days, I have come to appreciate the extent to which the University of Saskatchewan is truly a university for Saskatchewan. I expect that the renewed emphasis on partnerships and engagement that we are celebrating today will result in richer and more fulsome collaborations, which in turn will result in our faculty producing new and better scholarship and developing new and more enhanced learning opportunities, all while becoming increasingly meaningful to our community partners. Today, you have had or will have the opportunity to hear from Keith Carlson, Patty McDougall, Heather Magatu, and Karen Chad as they outline some of the new and emerging initiatives that aim to support engagement across the research and teaching spectrum initiatives. These are initiatives we regard as helping us to achieve and sustain that honorable place among the best. So thank you for joining us today we value your interaction, we value your comments, and we are delighted 
to be able to have you here. Thank you.